Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. Thanks again for joining me for another magnificent video of proof. We're going back to Clavius Crater. This is the most amazing, one of the most amazing craters on the surface of the moon. We are in the southern highlands. This is Clavius Crater and it's a crater that atop this crater are several craterlets on top of them that go from large to small. This is astrophotography. This is not footage that I was filming live. This is a snapshot, do you understand, of the telescope footage. We're traveling right now through the photo, the still that I took. The clarity that's in this photo, the perfect still frame that I took out of the best of the three that were at that section of the video, this is what we're seeing on the surface. You know what? I'm, I am seeing a lot of symmetrical buildings, building-like structuring, but look at all what looks like mechanical devices or connections, or listen, it could be, it could be completely sealed um, environment. And where am I getting these hypotheses and speculations and assumptions, if you want? I'm getting them through what I'm finding, basic facts and using common sense from what we're seeing here on Earth in overhead photos and what we can predict we're seeing on the surface of the moon. There are too many signs, guys, on there for us to let this go. I'm not here to change anyone's religion. I'm not here to change anyone's belief or views. But you guys, with due respect to you all, have the right to know what is up there because I do believe that it does affect um, some of your religions. And why, why do I say some? I mean, some of you are very religious. I respect that. And it will affect you, okay? But presenting it this way, I'm trying to present it in a way not to laugh at religions, not to, and why would I? I don't find religion funny. Religion, so long me, was something that was made to help people remain civilized and to have reason to do good in life. What's wrong with that? And you know what? I don't have to be religious to say that because I don't consider myself religious. I don't believe in terms. I consider myself very, very spiritual because I've had very many spiritual encounters and I feel comfortable today talking about that. By talking about it, the few that do, it will make the others maybe come out and talk and express themselves more about their spiritual encounters. I feel very blessed to have the chance to share all of this with you and to have had the chance, obviously, to see this for myself because as a spiritual person, what I'm seeing right now is changing my life, but it's changing it in a positive way. It's giving me, um, you know, the idea of that the universe is so vast, how can we be all alone in the universe? It's just absolutely impossible. It's ludicrous. We're seeing a lot of symmetrical structures right here. Please enjoy um, a couple of tunes that I've whipped up myself, tunes that I enjoy making myself. I'm a musician. I use instruments myself, and this is digital instrumentation. Please enjoy. And guys, this is Clavius Crater. Look at the best shots that I have of, with this astrophotography. Again, I'm not trying to stump anyone to make you guys think I'm filming live and in color. I do. I have videos live and in color. So please enjoy the videos. Guys, it's late and I don't care. I'm feeling great. I want to film more uh, stuff. I want to get more stuff up. I didn't get the moon tonight. Very disappointed. No snow, just clouds. We got tomorrow.
such an amazing surface. We can see the complexity in it, right? It's connected, a lot of connections. And these long tunnel-like corridors, I call, that go from, you know, maybe 10, 5, 10 miles, maybe 10, 15 miles, more or less, to go to other areas. And you can see them, the connections, many different colors. And let me note that each of the structures are different colors, not blurry patches over top of structures. We're not seeing color over top of any structure here. We're seeing individual colored structures. We're seeing green surfaces, both dark, light, you know, pastel light greens, like we see here on Earth. I can't help but compare the two. Two hundred and twenty five kilometers is the, the diameter of Clavius Crater. Look at the structure right there in the lens, bottom right. Massive pipe or tunnel, or probably even maybe a building, but like I say, or structure. We can't see exactly from here even if it has round or straight edges, but it is a symmetrical structure. The connections are there dark object. Here we can see pipes and different um, directions of all the anomalies and structures. It's almost overwhelming, is it not? And the color is very natural. Look very closely at how the color cuts off at each structure. Very clean. So do the transfer from kilometers to miles, 225 kilometers. It gives you a really good idea of how big these darn structures are. We're talking about structures that are as long as a couple of miles, even a couple of kilometers. The color that is the overall base color, I call, meaning we see a lot of green. It's very, very common on the surface of the moon. We also see it in many, many astronomers at both professional and amateur which sorry but so long me i've seen a lot of professional amateur astronomers in photography just absolutely amazing and they're doing one hell of a job but what i'm trying to do is a little different that's why maybe some of you don't appreciate it but i'm not here to steal anyone's uh, flag you know well um, uh, speaking of flag could you imagine how close we would have to be to be able to see a flag on the surface. Say to yourself, that little building there, if there's a flag in front of it, the telescope will not pick it up until, unless, you zoom in close enough so that the telescope and the HD can, you know, pick up the actual structure or anomaly and will show it to you. A lot of buildings in here, guys. Look around. So a good rough idea if there was a straight highway across Flavius Crater, guys, we would take, uh, it would take us in a car at 100, 120 kilometers an hour, probably anywhere from three and a quarter hours to four hours to get across Flavius Crater. That's pretty impressive when you think of it. So imagine all the structuring and not just that, how many houses will here on Earth will we pass by for 225 kilometers? A lot of people. Could that civilization that's up there, where we say that, I mean, the moon could be Earth, right? No, I'm just talking hypotheses, but come on, guys, join in with me. What if it was? Because I'm trying to integrate in my hypotheses, if a lie was presented, where would it be? Where would that lie be? Because I believe history now is the complete truth, but reversed and or backwards, meaning what they say is up, we have to really check to be sure that it's not actually down. And what is in, well, you know, it could be out. Mm -hmm.